Big Bang by Rhea, Anna, Anam and Miriam. 13.8 billion years ago, there was nothing. The only things that existed were energy and the superforce. A mix of gravity, electromagnetism, strong and weak forces. Then suddenly, gravity split from the other forces of nature. The Planck era was the time between gravity becoming a force of its own and the Big Bang. This time was 10 to the power of negative 43 seconds. That's 42 decimal places. The Grand Unification Era happened 10 to the power of negative 36 seconds after the Big Bang. This is when the strong nuclear force splits from the other forces, weak nuclear force and electromagnetism. At this point, the temperature was 1000 trillion trillion degrees Celsius. The next stage was the Inflation Era, when the universe expanded from the size of an atom to the size of a grapefruit. This happened 10 to the negative 32 seconds after the Big Bang. The universe expanded by a whopping 100 million trillion times. At this point, the first quarks, particles and electrons were formed. Quarks can be either up or down. They are bound together by the strong nuclear force and are soon to be inside protons. Protons, along with neutrons and gluons, will make up the nucleus of an atom. The next stage in this amazing event is the splitting of the final two forces to create electromagnetism and the weak nuclear force. The quarks begin to acquire mass. This all happens 10 to the power of negative 11 seconds after the Big Bang, which is still a tiny fraction of a second. One microsecond after this process began, the cosmos cools to about 10 trillion degrees Celsius allowing up and down quarks to join together to form protons and neutrons. After a whole second, helium nuclei form, but it's 10 billion degrees Celsius, so too hot for atoms to form. After 400,000 years, the temperature has cooled to 2,700 degrees Celsius, so hydrogen and helium atoms have formed. Light begins to shine. After 1 billion years, Gravity makes helium gas atoms fuse to form clouds of gas. These gas clouds will later become galaxies. Smaller collections of gas implode and collapse to form the first stars. These stars will have all died now, but in the aftermath of their death, new stars are born. These furnaces are still generating primordial elements to this day. 4.5 billion years ago, our galaxy, the Milky Way, was born. Recently, scientists have gathered a substantial amount of evidence for the Big Bang. One piece of evidence is the redshift of galaxies. Galaxies are moving apart from each other in proportion to their size, which means the further away from us they are, the more redshift they have. Redshift is when light waves are stretched as we move away from the other galaxies in the expanding universe. Light is shifted to the red end of the visible light spectrum. This is because the further the light has to travel, the more it's stretched. This would only happen when the universe is expanding. This was discovered by Edwin Hubble in the 1950s. It might look a bit like this. <laughs>